Welcome to NBA Basketball. This is 2K Sports bringing it to you live. The young NBA season still rich with optimism. It'll be the Chicago Bulls facing off against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Enjoy the first half. Now a chance to check out tonight's starting lineups. And guys, what are we going to be looking for in this one from Gervin? Well, Kevin, he's got such a great focus as a shooter. You know, he's a very frustrating player to guard because unless you actually block his shot, you are not going to get in his head and affect him. And another thing that stands out about him, Steve, he has the ability to score even with defenders draped all over him. He's so strong around the goal. The Cleveland Cavaliers come into this one following a loss to the Jams. And that was a real body blow for them. They got taken apart both offensively and defensively. And that game featured one of the least consistent offensive performances you're going to see from them, Clark. Yeah, no spurt ability on display at all, fellas. I mean, they needed to make a few runs, but it just never was able to happen for them. And it's the Cavaliers to start out. Now Williams. Woolridge left side. Back to Williams. Passes it to Free. Number 32. Defended by Oak. Lock at six. And it's blocked by Mahorn. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Jordan with it. Outside Mullen. Back to Jordan. Here's Oakley. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Up and in with force after the offensive rebound. I like that tenacity. Yeah, he is so sturdy. He just battles for every rebound. Now here's Williams. About a minute played so far here in the first. Here's free. Rebound by the Bulls. This game against Cleveland is the first time they've met this season. And looking back to last year, they won this season series, as you'd probably expect. Offensively, he can be the engine that drives them at any given time. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Number 32. And gets hacked by the D. He'll go to the line. And the offense just getting right to the rim, but at least they saved the layup with the foul. That's old school basketball rules. I mean, at the end of the day, no easy layup. Earn it from the line. To touch again on Steve's comment, last year they were a playoff team facing a team that went home at the end of the regular season, and Clark, they, they took advantage. Yeah, that to me is what makes a playoff team, Kevin. I mean, beating the teams you should beat and then not having any significant letdown. The first one falls. Good on both. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Jordan to Gerber. On the wing, Mullen. On loads. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. And Williams throws it down. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Definitely. I mean, that's what you call early offense. And let's get this update now from Doris Burkins across the way on the sideline. Well, I spoke with the head coach of the Bulls. He told me it's a fun challenge trying to slow down a team that's so cagey and opportunistic offensively. He said, of course we've done our scouting, but this is the first time we've seen them firsthand this season. So it'll be interesting to see if we can take them out of their sets and slow them down at that end. Guys, they'll have to be solid defensively. Back to you. Okay, Doris, so Steve and Clark, uh, what will you guys be looking for overall, you know, defensively from this team, given they're facing such terrific shooters tonight? Well, it's going to take tremendous energy, so I would look for them to go fairly deep into their bench. Yeah, I like that thought, Steve. Really, it gives you a chance to hopefully keep your defenders 
fresh on the defensive end. So that makes sense to me. Let's see if they can pull it off. James Posey's checked in for Chicago. And so Jordan nails both of them. Well, you can count on him, can't you? He seems to knock down free throws consistently all game long. Last nice outing for Chicago. They won that game against New York. I thought the way they attacked the rim and got into the paint was phenomenal. It seemed like after a while, the defense just kind of waved the white flag. That's exactly what will happen when a team continues to attack the goal and come away with layup. It demoralizes the defense. Just five to shoot. Here's free. Goes back up, and the layup is good. Giving them an opportunity at second chance points with some hard work on the glass there. The drive by Jordan. Land soft on the front of the rim and drops. Jordan's got six. He can finish in the post. That's one thing we know about. Free passes to Woolridge. Pass to Free. Soft touch off the glass. He's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, off to a rough start. Just doesn't seem to have the rhythm with his shot. Jordan to Gervin. McCray. Outside Jordan. Taken away by Williams. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Has to free. Back to Williams. Woolridge. Chance there to take the lead. Missing. The Bulls have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Here's Jordan. The shot will not go. And Cleveland the other way now. Williams attacking. Woolridge. They now take the lead. He had his choice of finishing moves there. And you just got to love the fact he went old school with the finger up. Outside Jordan. To the middle. Gervin. And he can't bank that one in. Woolridge inside. He's against Jordan. There's the dish to Gervin. The eight-footer. And yes, sir, that one drops. Well, he recognized the advantage size-wise, and he went right at the defender. That's how you do it. Now here's Williams. Here's Free. Lays it up and banks it in. He's got six points. You know, the only tough part of that basket for him was getting into such good position. The rest of it seemed easy. Gervin outside. The feed to open. Back to Gervin. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. The Bulls have gone two for two in the game at the line. Well, they were a fairly decent free throw shooting team a year ago, Kevin, about 77% uh, from the line. You know, Kevin, they would love to post a similar percentage again this season. I mean, I think that's safe to say they'd love to shoot free throws as well as they did a year ago. Free throw, good, Gervin. So for the Bulls. Corzine comes in from a horn, and it's green in for Charles Oakley. Good for Gervin. And here is Williams. Eight points his last outing. He feeds it to Woolridge. Back to Williams. Dishes it to Woolridge. Six on the shot clock. Green with 
with the block. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Here's Jordan. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. What a huge play. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle stats for the Bulls? Well, you have to admire their intensity in the paint defensively. I mean, really contesting and even blocking shots. Definitely a factor early. Yeah, and I've noticed also that their quick hands have led to a lot of forced turnovers. They're getting some points in transition as a result. You know, every time I watch him play, I'm looking for some big defensive plays. We've seen him simply control a game with that shot-blocking intimidation factor. Steve, you're exactly right. I mean, because if he blocks a few shots early on, he gets in the opponent's heads. Guys are hesitant to come inside. They always find themselves looking for those long arms of his. And that one misses. And the Bulls making a change here. That one misses. Chicago leading. And they double up Jordan. Corzine the pass to McCray. Daly defended by Hubbard. And it's Green with the jam. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D it. I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Well, I, I felt like his defense was letting him down out there, guys, so he wanted to get a timeout to talk it over and try to tighten things up here. You know, a part of coaching, a lot of coaching, actually is making sure that momentum never gets too far away from your team. That's a good timeout. Well, we've got a moment to look back at last year's Bulls. Seventh in blocks, seventh in free throw percentage, and they were top ten in fewest team turnovers. This team has a number of players that take care of the ball and value every possession. And what really stands out is the blocks for me because uh, that's a team that really dominated the paint area. And when they were on top of their game, they were very physical. So they fronted the post a lot, forced some difficult shots at the rim, and due to their length and their size, they were able to block a lot of shots down there. Number 32. No good on the shot a bit long that time. You know, that's a problem he has. I mean, not being able to knock down that open jump. I think it happens far too often. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play. They're working together, and they're just looking for the best shot they can every possession. So it's the Cavaliers now. The Bulls getting the bucket. Now here's Jordan. Defense is right there. Wasted no time on that one. And it's an eight-point Bulls lead. You know, they're being very one-dimensional right now, going to the post every time. But if it works, you don't need another dimension. Well, they're taking this defense to task, quite honestly. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. Number 32. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. We'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Outstanding job there to absorb the contact and guide it in. That's how you impose your will against the defender. He came to play. Bulls leading by five. Outside Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Left side Jordan. McCray. Can't get it to go. Nice D from Hubbard. And here are the Cavaliers now. Off 
Pastor Buckner. And he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul, and he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. The Cavaliers shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Yeah, this was one of the worst free throw shooting teams in the NBA last season, guys, about 72%. Yeah, a, as a group, really a dismal year for them from the line last season, guys. That free throw missing. What's really hurt them, Kevin, is the missed free throws. You've got to cash in on those freebies. Mm -hmm. Chicago making a switch here. Shrimps checked in. No luck that time either. You're right, free throw shooting is so important. Well, that's why they call them free, Kevin. That's, it really is important to be able to get to the line and knock down the free throws. I mean, that keeps a lead if you have it. It allows you to come back if you're trailing, and it keeps pressure on the opponent. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Double up Jordan, pours in inside, shrimp, shot clock at six, and again Chicago, no good. Number 23, guarded by Green. Pass to Buckner. Fires from the wing. Good. The Bulls leading by three. He dishes it to Jordan. He kicks to Shrimp. The pass to Corzine. Five on the clock. Defended by Hubbard. Here's Shrimp. Count it from 12. Shrimp's got his first points of the game. For Cleveland, they've gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first. Here's Buckner. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Whoops. They pick off the pass. Outside Jordan. And the whistle blows, and it's going to be an over-the-back call here. Second foul of the first quarter. They're probably going to have to sit him down here to try to avoid number three. The Cavaliers have shot three of seven at the foul line. He's off on the first. Higgins, he's checked in for Green. And he sinks the second. The Bulls leading by four. Here is Warwick, screened by Corzine. Warwick inside. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Mullins checked in for Chicago. The Cavaliers trail by seven. Number 50 defended by Higgins. Number 50. Higgins grabs the board. Boy, he blew the easy two by profile. Trying to look good. That's a bad decision and poor execution. Warwick, no luck. The Cavaliers shooting the ball to the tune of 41% from the field so far. Number 15. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Looked like he rushed that one, guys. The defense was out of position. He was wide open. Just couldn't take advantage. 
137 left here in the first quarter. Pass to Buckner. Six to shoot. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Williams is checked in for Cleveland. Chicago leading by seven. Passes to Higgins. And here's Corzine. Deflected. 104 left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Buckner. He passes to Hubbard. Feeds to Williams. Clock is at three. And it's in off the backboard. Williams has got his second basket of the night. And Chicago shooting at a nice 53% rate to start the game. They are sticking to the campaign. Here's Daly. That's good. And the Bulls lead by seven. Nice soft touch to drop that one in. Kicks it to Williams. 26 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Hubbard. Higgins grabs the board. Well, I like the defense there. Right up in his grill. Didn't give him a chance. Here's Warwick. Takes the elbow jumper and trains it. And now a nine-point Bulls lead. He shouldn't be afraid to take that shot more often. He's solid from there. Pass to Hubbard. Here's Buckner. From the arc. Oh, he a beautiful buzzer beater. Just in time. Boy, ends the quarter with a dead-eye three as the buzzer sounds. They had that set up, I think, Steve, and he timed it perfectly. And that does it for the first quarter. Bulls lead by six. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. Coming up next Tuesday, November 11th, hit the road to do battle with the Milwaukee Bucks. Be there. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? Big boost from their bench there, guys, in that first quarter. They did a nice job coming in and really giving this team a lift. Yeah, it's a nice attribute to have. Firepower coming off the pine early. That's good stuff. Here's Warwick. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So for Chicago right now, Higgins is out there with Mullen, then it's Corzine, then there's Gerber, and it's Warwick in at the one. Here's Free. He's coming off the 19-point game against Utah. He did a great job picking the defense apart, too. It wasn't just his scoring, giving credit for his passing in that game, too. Just four to shoot. There's Williams. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Just 72% from the line last year. Not great numbers, but you know, of course there are worse out there, that's for sure. And because he struggled with his free throw shooting so much last season, I thought he was hesitant at times to be aggressive. Um, wasn't looking to draw contact and was trying to avoid getting to the foul line. And the first one drops. Well, it seems like they're having a lot of trouble at the line today, and uh, it's just been that kind of a day. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Mullen. And Williams drops them both. The Bulls leading by four. Higgins passes to Corzine. The dish to war. Oh, 
It's Gervin on the wing. And there's the pass to Higgins. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Warwick gets the bucket. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Williams passes to Free. Now the feed to Woolridge. Down low, number 54. Chicago grabs the miss. Higgins has got his third rebound tonight. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. He feeds it to Ward. Passes it to Higgins. Now Corzine, guarded by Woolridge. And Corzine gets it to go. And now a nine-point Bulls lead. Well, Cleveland shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. And Woolridge kicks to Williams. Number 54. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. This is his first free throw of the game. First free throw is good. This is the way to stay in the game. They're doing a masterful job from the line right here. Chicago making a switch here. Both good from the line that time. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Here's Warwick. Eight points for him. Pass to Mahorn. West is there. Mahorn, the pass to Warwick. Guarded by Woolridge. Shot clock at five. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Bulls have been yet missed a free throw. Five for five. That free throw, no good. So for the Bulls, Charles Oakley. He's checked in for Corzine. And it's Jordan in for Tristan Thompson. Second free throw, good. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for the Bulls. The Bulls leading by six. Gervin outside. Pass to Mahorn. This is to Jordan. He kicks it to Oakley. And a dunk to finish it off. A ah, beauty. An indication there of why the scoreboard looks like it does. Very passive defense. But the finish was anything but passive. No, he, he hammered that down, Clark. Superb above-the-rim action. He dishes it to Woolridge. Lock at six. He passes to three. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And Clark, while we have a moment, let's show you the list of players who put up the most points last year.
Chicago's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. The pass to Mahorn. Feeds it to Jordan. Here is Mahorn. West is there. Here is Mahorn. Looking for his first basket still in this one. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Right side, Woolridge. Pass to Buckner. Pass to Free. On deep three-point range. It's all in by the Bulls. I'd love to see them impose their will a little bit more on the backcourt. Usually that's a great way to take control of the game. Well, they haven't been able to do that yet, but it's something they're certainly capable of. How about Michael Jordan in this one? Ten points, and he's added a steal to his stat line also. Well, that's obviously not a big number, but you know, he's been doing some valuable defensive work for him. Free throw good, Jordan. Dave Corzine, he's checked in for the Bulls. Shrimp comes in for Charles Oakley. And so Jordan nails both of them. The Cavaliers trail by 10. Timeout called Cleveland. Kevin, I've got a chance now to look at where the Cavaliers ranked in the NBA last season. Seventh in rebounding, eighth in assists, and they were in the top 10 in steals as well. I mean, this is a team that really gets after people defensively. Deflections, pressure on the ball, all of that leads to steals. And what stands out to me, Clark, with what you just talked about is the rebounds because this is a very physical team. They like to try to bully their opponent at both ends of the floor. On the defensive glass, they were excellent. And then offensively, on missed shots, they really got after it and tried to get second chance points. Tries a three. They get it again. Here's Corzine. And that one's good. And the Bulls lead by 10. They have got to put a body on because otherwise, with his agility and athleticism, they're not going to be able to contain him on the offensive glass. And the basket by West. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half, Clark, just piling up points in the paint. Here's Warwick. Nine points in the game so far. From Team Jordan. That doesn't go either for Jordan. Williams inside, guarded by Jordan. Pass to free. Wide open look. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Free's got 10 points in the game. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They sure are. That's three straight buckets that have come off of assists. Corzine with a spring on free. Corzine, fended by West. Michael Jordan on the wing. Jordan with another miss. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Woolridge, the pass to Hubbard. Here's free. No good. Excellent defense for Moore. The Bulls leading by six. The drive by Jordan. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Now look at the Cavaliers' upcoming schedule. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. The Bulls have shot the ball well from the free throw line, 8 of 9. First free throw is good. The Cavaliers making a switch here.
And so Jordan nails both of them. Here's Williams. He has six. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Williams has got his third basket of the night right there. Eight of the last ten points at that end of the court have been scored on very high percentage shots in the paint. And it's not necessarily strategic part. It's just a matter of playing with more heart. Got to play hard, guys. And it's Jordan with the jam. I'll tell you what I love about him. His ability to finish even while absorbing contact. He is so strong, even with defenders hanging all over him. He continues to finish at the basket. There's one other thing about him that I like. It's how easy he makes it look to change his shot in midair. And usually with defenders all around him. Because of that, it's really hard to block one of his shots. Back to Williams. Number 54. No good with the layup. Chicago leading by eight. The drive by Jordan. That's good. Jordan's got 18 points in the game. You know, he started out hot, and he's only gotten hotter. He, he could be in for one of those games. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And here's what the Chicago Bulls schedule is looking like. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. The Cavaliers have gone 8 of 13 from the free throw line. First one falls for him. Bulls making the switch here. Green's checked in. Both free throws good from Hubbard. The Bulls have gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. McCray passes to Shrimp. Here is Corzine. Back and down. Here's Daly. Misses the three. The Cavaliers trail by eight. There's the pass to Hubbard. Shrimp with the steal. Pushing it up. Makes the lead pass. And Green slams it in. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And, guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Timeout called Cleveland. Yeah, he's seen enough of this interior scoring that his defense is giving up. So the message during this timeout is time to lock things up inside. You know, sometimes a group can just get spaced out on defense. They're not connected and playing five as one. And... Usually a timeout can help you refocus and recalibrate that defense. Some changes for Chicago. Mullen comes in for Shrimp, and Gervin subbed in for Dave Porzin. The Cavaliers trail by 10. Number 32. Second chance effort. He lays it in. Well done. Finishing that one off. For Chicago, they've gone 7 of 13 from the field since the start of the second. Here's McCray. Outside Mullen. Passes it to McCray. Back to Mullen. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Mullins got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. The Cavaliers have gone 6 of 12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. Double, 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 
Kicks it to Williams. Shot clock at six. Gets it to go. He's got six. And he's shaking off a poor first quarter shooting effort. He's really starting to turn it on now, guys. Pass to McCray. Green with a screen on Williams. Into Green. Picked his pocket. The pass to Hubbard. Doubled by Martin. Outside Williams. Number 32. The shot is off. And it's Chicago the other way. The jump hook. This is a to McCray. On the wing, Mullen. Again, Mullen missing. The Cavaliers trail by nine. Number 15. Good work defensively by Gervin. That was a layup, and you've got to knock that down. You've got to convert when you get those opportunities. The finger roll finish at the bucket. Gervin's got his second bucket tonight. Boy, great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, it sure was. He made a beeline for the bucket as soon as they got the ball. Right away, straight to the rim. Number 54. Good, great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got four assists now tonight. Well, you just can't give them that kind of position in the post. I'll tell you what, when he gets it in that tight, he's going to bury those. The shot's good from Mullen. I really like the fact that he's getting the touches he needs here after not scoring a single point in that first quarter. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Ten points for him. You know, if you were only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would be ahead. The dish to Green. Backs him down. And another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep our eyes on. So for the Bulls. The horn checked in for Green. Oakley comes in for James Posey. And it's Jordan in for Tristan Thompson. And they double up Jordan. And there's the feed to Mullen. Oakley kicks to Mullen. From the top of the key, he buries it. Mullen's got eight here in the quarter. And he's starting to pick things up here after a tough first quarter. Now Williams. Eight points for him. He feeds it to Woolridge. Defended by Mullen. Woolridge's shot is off. Chicago leading by 12. Jordan with it. Back to Gervin. Outside Oakley. Jordan dishes to Mullen. That one wide left. Now Cleveland shooting at an even 50% from the floor here in the second quarter. Cleveland moving it around. Williams gets to Woolrich. He passes to Free. Six on the shot clock. Shoots. Rick Mahorn with the rebound. That's his comfort zone, so defensively, really nice job challenging the shot. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. He's finding all kinds of ways to get it done. What a quarter he's had. The Bulls have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. And that one falls for Mullen. The Cavaliers trail by 15. Free passes to Williams. Free. Back to Williams. Pass to Free. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Free's got 12 points in the game. And so that's the end of the first half. Bulls out front. They lead by 13. The Sprint Halftime Show with Damon Bruce is coming up next. Then it'll be on to the third quarter. We'll see you then. And now, brought to you by Sprint. 
Thanks for joining us on 2K Sports as the NBA season revs up. Let's get into the halftime report. Chicago with the lead against Cleveland. Sitting at 500 in the early goings of the season, they're looking to get on the winning side of the ledger. Michael Jordan just having his way against the Cavaliers. He's piled up 18 points, and he's been able to provide some nice assists as well. For the Cavaliers, though, they've looked out of sync. They'd like to forget that first half. Coach has not been happy with what he's seen out there, and they'll likely come out with major adjustments. And now let's go around the NBA to check out what's happening. A tight game for Washington, squaring off against Indiana. Second half of basketball just getting started for them. And another game going on. Smooth sailing so far for them. Game in the third. And here's a look at the other NBA action from around the league. For the Raptors, they'll be up against the Warriors out in Oakland. Start time, 7 o'clock Eastern. That's it for me here in the studio. Time to send you back out to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the start of the third quarter. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. I loved his approach, guys. He came out aggressively, took the ball into the teeth of the defense, and either got points at the rim or drew fouls. Most of the time, he's been drawing fouls. He has the free throw total to show for it, as well as a few nicks and bruises. It's Gervin on the wing. He kicks it to Mullen. Jordan up top. Six to shoot. Puts the lead pass in front of him. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. He misses the free throw. He doesn't get the second one. The Cavaliers trail by 13, so the Bulls five right now. Michael Jordan is out there with Gervin. Then it's Muller. Then there's Mahorn, and it's Oakley in at the four. Number 32, and the layup's good off the glass. He's got seven. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. And even if it costs them some foul trouble, I mean, they need to start putting some bodies on bodies. Be physical. Mullen dishes to Gervin. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Williams, that's good. Got to love the finger roll up and over the defense. Chicago leading by nine. The drive by Jordan. Back to Mullen. Michael Jordan on the wing. Gervin, three, defending. And that one's good, Gervin. Right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. Dishes to Woolridge. Pass to three. Let's it fly from 18. And there's another one for the Cavaliers. Nothing but money for them to start the half. They've made all three of their shot attempts. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Here's the list of players who had the most steals in the NBA last season. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Outside Jordan. And the pass to Mahorn. 
Backs him down. It's Irvin on the wing. He dishes it to Jordan. And it's off from three-point range. The Cavaliers trail by nine. Williams gets to Woolwich. Back to Williams. Lock at six. Feeds it to Woolwich. Three-pointer. A rebound by Oakley. Oakley's got three rebounds now in this one. Well, still a great start to the half after hitting their first three, even before that miss. down the first one. Chicago making some changes. Green, he's checked in for Oakland. And James Posey subbed in for Mullen. And he makes the first, but misses the second. The Cavaliers trail by 10. Free passes to Williams. Here's Free, guarded by Jordan. They grab their own miss. Woolridge controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Woolridge has got his third bucket of the night. Hard work and soft hands, guys. That's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. But that's the way you've got to go. If you, you, know, if you have good position, you've got to get after it and go for that second chance opportunity. And Green gets it to go. Beautiful feed off the bounce to his teammate there. Nicely done. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And at this point of the game, always important to stay focused. And while the coach goes over the game plan, these players are getting a much-needed chance to rehydrate and refuel with Gatorade. And, guys, uh, we know the drill well, all three of us drinking the Gatorade, too. Yeah, yeah no question. Right. I mean, Kevin, people Although, have no idea the fatigue that can set in during a telecast. And so it's important for us to stay hydrated all game long. Clark, you're always hydrated. Yeah, I try to be, but it's usually um, with a combination of H2O and Gatorade. I love Gatorade. And look at Steve. He has the Gatorade shirt on. <laughs> yeah, he's, all, he's really immersed in the Gatorade. Yeah. Got to love it. <laughs> and the Cavaliers call time here. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. They need to make some adjustments because he's absolutely scorching Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. The dive for the ball. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Dave Corzine. He's checked in for Mahorn. The Bulls leading by 10. Outside Jordan. Shoots from the elbow. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. He's made all six of his tries at the line so far. Real good, Jordan. Shrimp, he's checked in for Chicago. <laughs> A 
and so Jordan nails both of them. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Free against Durbin. Here's Free. He's got 12. Misses off the right iron. Chicago leading by 12. Outside Green. Releases. And there's Michael Jordan, the assist by Green. And it's now 22 points for Michael Jordan. The Cavaliers have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Kicks to Woolridge. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Guys, their play close to the hoop has been great all game. And that's helped with their passing game, too, because they're getting a lot of assists by sharing the ball and moving it. And he makes the first. And the Bulls making a change here. Corzine's checked in. In both. Well, as far as the league's big men go, he's one of the very best at the foul line. The Bulls leading by 12. Now here's Jordan. He's got 22. Shrimp. Back to Jordan. Bulls moving the ball around. Back and down is Green. Outside Jordan. Four on the clock. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Jordan's got six here in this quarter. He's been so reliable again today, Kevin. And they need his points, and he's providing them. Williams passes to free. Woolridge left side. Pass to free. Back to Woolridge. Woolridge left side. Nice D from Shrimp. This has not at all been the kind of performance they've needed out of him. The drive by Jordan. Pretty much automatic tonight at the line, eight for eight. You know, he's been doing a great job of getting to the line tonight, guys. Yeah, and when he's gotten there, Clark, he has been punishing them. You know, he really did excel at the stripe. I mean, they couldn't have asked for too much more from him when it came to knocking down free throws. Free throw good, Jordan. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Gervin. And so Jordan nails both of them. Here's free. 12 points for him. Pass to Ho. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And in front of you now is a list of the players with the highest shooting percentage last season. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. He hit his foul shots at about a 74% clip last season. free throw and the Cavaliers making a change here West is checked in good on the second free throw Chicago leading by 15 Outside Jordan. Good as the 
jump shot falls. Jordan's got 10 points here in the second half. They've done a lot of good work with the ball. Really moving both the, the ball and moving bodies, getting quality chances at the hoop. And they're not wasting chances when they get it. I mean, they're hitting their shots. Here's Free. And another miss by Cleveland. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. Here's Daly. Up and in on the layup. And the Bulls lead by 19. They're playing with a purpose, guys. The big lead becoming bigger. I like the look in their eyes. And it's on both ends that they've been controlling the action. Now the pass to Hubbard. Right side, Williams. He passes it to free. Shot clock at six. Shoots from eight. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Free's got 14 points. Bulls have gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. Oh, they keep the ball out of the cylinder, but pick up a foul in the process. Two shots at the line. And the first one at the line is good. Chicago making a switch here. And so Jordan nails both of them. And here is Williams. Ten points for him. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They got to find something. You're right. And it's blocked by Jordan. They get it back. Good. The Bulls leading by 17. Passes it to McCray. Back to Jordan. He's feeling it. And that one comes up a bit short. Well, the shot was there for him, and he had to take it. I don't care if he didn't convert. He's got to take that every time. The rebound by Jordan. Jordan's got his third rebound on the night. Get, get it to go. Excellent D there from Hubbard. Cavaliers shooting approximately 43% in the third quarter. And the basket good. Bullridge has got six in the quarter. Brought back the finger roll. That's a nice finesse move to pull off with the defense all over. Daly guarded by Bullridge. Back to Shrimp. Outside Jordan. Plenty of space. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Bullridge has got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside Williams. Six to shoot. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. The Bulls have gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Outside Jordan. Green with a screen for Jordan. It is now to Green. Outside for Jordan. Six on the shot clock. Lets it go from the baseline and nails it. Jordan's got 14 points here in the second half. I don't think they can ask much more of him than what he's done this quarter. Cavaliers have gone 8 of 16 in the third quarter to put their second half shooting percentage right at 50%. There's the feed to Woolridge. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. A super defensive play. I mean, if that pass gets through, it's probably two points. And he knew that. He knew if it gets through, it's a score. So that's why he sold out for it and got a hand on it. Get 
shoots it up. And too long on the shot. The Bulls leading by 15. Here's Warwick. The shot is off. Nice D from Woolwich. Cavaliers shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Here's Free. 14 points for him. Gets it to go. 11 points in the game. And there it is again. That's where their points have been coming today from the low post. And even under pressure in tight, they've maintained their concentration and converted their opportunities. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Mullen for three. They get it back. Here's Oakley. And that one hits back iron. The Cavaliers trail by 13. Pass to Hubbard. He feeds it to Woolridge. And the pass to Hubbard. Leads him in there. Number 32. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Good job threading that pass into the lane. I like his vision, guys. He sees everything. A minute 20 left to play in the third. Carries it from three-point range. Warwick's got 12 in the game. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Warwick's the pass to free. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Way too loose on that inbounds pass. Chicago making a switch here. Chicago leading by 14. On the wing, Mullen. Here's the teardrop. Porzine, Mullen. Guarded by Woolridge. That's good. He's got 13. 46 seconds left to play in the third. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. Yeah, defensively, some really good pressure being applied, though, so you've got to give credit there. Um, it seems like they've been rattled a little bit. Steve, yeah. you think they've been rattled? Oh, they're, they're rattled, all right, and turnovers will kill you, especially with a, a team like this that can force turnovers and get out in transition. Just three to shoot. Number 32. And poor shot selection there. Not a high percentage look for him. Here's Warwick. 12 points for him. Corzine with the screen on Williams. And Warwick kicks it over to Corzine. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Well, he hit his foul shots at about a 74% clip last season. Free throw, no good. Chicago making a switch here. He hits the second from the line. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. Here's Williams. Shot, no good. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Bulls lead by 17. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. Tune in Tuesday, November 11th. Go up against the Phoenix Suns. Big time hoops coming your way. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. The Cavaliers trail by 17. They've got Woolridge. Free out there with Williams. And it's Shelton. And at the pivot spot, Manning the middle. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. Pass to Free. Floats one up, and that one's good. 
Well, you got to be so careful with him defensively because he has the ability to get hot at a moment's notice. And if that happens at the wrong time, you're in some big trouble. That's a good point, Steve. I mean, what I've always liked about him, his beautiful alley-oop passes. That's a unique skill, and not everybody has it. Just high enough to clear the defender, he rarely throws it into the crowd. The Bulls making a switch here. McCray's checked in. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. They kick it out to Green. Dishes it to Ward. Mahorn a screen on Williams. Inside. Tries to keep it alive. Five to shoot. Passes to free. Takes the three. Gervin pulls it in. The Bulls leading by 14. Here's Warwick. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Well, he earned that one. Took the hit and still found a way to knock it down. Yeah, fantastic body control. And the will to get it done. You like that focus. Higgins, he's checked in for James Posey. minute played here in the fourth quarter the Cavaliers trail by 17 he kicks it to Woolridge and so he draws the foul on the shot a trip to the line to shoot two yeah the referees all over that one no doubt about it clearly a foul nothing to argue about there The first one falls. That one is no good. The Bulls leading by 16. Here's Ward. Can't get it to go. Nice D from Woolrich. Now Cleveland shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Williams can't hit. Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel at fighting through contact on his way to the rim. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. And the Bulls making a change here. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Green with a screen on free. The open shot, Green, and he comes off the screen to bury the jump shot. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through that one. Now Williams, outside, Woolridge, pass to free. Off the left rim and out. The defender had the position and the height. Even when you use the fadeaway, it's tough to overcome that. The pass to McCray. Shoots it. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Woolridge has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Number 23. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Chicago leading by 18. The shot is good by McCray. Boy, they've looked good in the open floor today. That's had a lot to do with their success. Well, they've been doing the right thing, Steve. Anytime they've had numbers, they've gone straight up court with it right away. Boom. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Cleveland moving it around. Shot from 16. Chicago grabs the miss. Back to Gervin. Lays out. Out of bounds. Bulls ball as Chicago keeps possession. Mahorn checked in for Chicago. Yeah. 
We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Jordan dishes to Mullen. Misses the wing chair. The Cavaliers trail by 20. Here's free. He dishes it to Woolridge. And out of bounds is Chicago Games possession. Such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And that is good. That's really set them apart today, guys. That success from the mid-range. Well, these are two teams that clearly you've seen the difference in offensive philosophies here. Pass to free. Feeds it to Woolridge. He passes to Free. Number 54. Off the mark and the drop continues. The Bulls leading by 22. The drive by Jordan. And the Bulls tack on two more. A big part of this run here has been their ability to hit from mid-range, guys. I mean, that's um, that's unique. Yeah, some players and teams even shy away from that mid-range jumper, but this team seems to have it dialed in from that range. Passes it to Free. Kicks it to Williams. Oakley with some nice D. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. The drive by Jordan. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. All the buckets he's poured in today have put them in a terrific position heading into the stretch. So Chicago ends up going with the new group. Free throw good, Jordan. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Well, he just didn't make the catch. Didn't look the ball into his hands. He must have thought the ball was going somewhere else. Unable to get the ball in bounds. They get called for the five-second violation. He had pretty much played mistake-free basketball up to that point. That's really the only time he's turned it over so far. They need to stop this run. I think it's time to switch things up, either by going to the bench or with a different look defensively. Pass to Hubbard. Lock at six. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. And there's the pass to Corzine. There's the dish to Ward. Michael Jordan on the wing. Trying his luck deep. No luck. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. There's the pick. Hubbard guarded by Jordan. And the shot is good. The Bulls have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter from 13 and the shot is good jordan's got 41 the entire defense was frozen footed nobody picked up the shooter kevin the cavaliers shooting the ball at 42 percent passes it to hubbard but loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in now well, the pick worked really well there nice job taking it right to the 10 for the layup 
Here's Warwick. Corzine inside. That's good. Gone a perfect three for three so far. Pass to Buckner. Cleveland moving it around. Pass to Hubbard. Defended by Higgins. Puts up the baby hook. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Chicago with the ball. They're on an 18-5 run. A shot by Jordan. No good. That's one he knows he should have made. Pass to Buckner. Number 15. Defended by Warwick. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. And he knocks down the first one. Bulls making a switch here. Mullins has checked in. So one for two that time at the strike. For Chicago, they've gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. The feed to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. The pass to Corzine. The ball stolen. Pass to Shelton. Banked in off the glass. Fantastic pass. He turned that one into a pretty easy basket for his teammate. The Bulls shooting 57% in this fourth quarter. And Warwick kicks to Jordan. The shot goes in as the ref calls the blocking foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. He is just eating this team alive with his offense. It's been a matchup nightmare. Chicago making a switch here. The Cavaliers shooting in the fourth quarter down around 31%, not playing with as much energy here lately. Number 15, guarded by Jordan. And that one's good. So it's Chicago now. He feeds it to Gervin. Back to Jordan. Shoots from eight. And the shot is good. Jordan's got 46 points. And here are the Cavaliers. They set the screen. Number 15, Shelton. And he uses the glass on the way. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on the clinic on how to share the ball. I just love the mentality they've had. If the shot isn't there, they're not forcing anything. They're moving it side to side and working to get a good shot. Rob. Here's Buckner. Number 15. A rebound by Oakley. 
And they force the miss with that good defensive rotation. They're playing well together as a unit. Michael Jordan again. Jordan's got 48. The Cavaliers shooting at 44%, pretty reasonable. Pass to Buckner. Number 15, guarded by Jordan. Kept alive. The layup off target. Now Mullen. The drive by Jordan. There's the bucket. Good. Jordan's got 50 points. Man, he's got a lot of firepower right now. I mean, what a half he's having. 156 left to play here in the fourth. Number 15, guarded by Jordan. Six on the shot clock. Gets it to go. I don't know who was supposed to be on him there, but clearly a mistake by the defense. Bull shooting a smooth 58% from the field. Everything going according to plan for them on that end. Gervin back to Jordan. Charity swipe shot. Cannot hit. That's a shot he's got to hit. And you don't get too many better looks from that range. Number 23. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. And so here is Chicago. Here's Jordan. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. Looked like he rushed that one, guys. The defense was out of position. He was wide open, just couldn't take advantage. Pass to Buckner. Shot clock at six. Number 15, guarded by Jordan. Jordan with the rebound. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he'd shot the ball anything like he's capable of. On the wing, Mullen. And it's good, assisting on the play was Jordan. Boy, you relish these sorts of road games where you come in and you get the job done. In a long schedule with the kinds of pressure of travel and tough opponents throughout the season, it's always good when you play a game like they have here. Pass to Buckner. Number 15, guarded by Jordan. Number 50. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Yeah, the defender draped all over him. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. First free throw is good. The Bulls making a switch here. And he makes both free throws. Dishes at the wall. Puts one up from 19. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Picked by West. Number 15. This is there. And so Chicago takes this one. And by a big margin. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team. And they just had one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan player of the game, Michael Jordan.